3D printing is cheating. I get that in comments quite a bit. You know, somehow as if by pressing the print button on this printer, a little bit of my modelling soul has been sucked away. So is 3D printing cheating or is there more to it than that? I wear a mask because I get headaches if I don't. Actually, the wash and cure stage is worse. You put a lot of IPA and resin in the atmosphere and yeah, two years of headaches. I'm very keen not to continue having them. So first up, point one. It's not just print and play. I can still feel the mask on my face. I literally just press print on that. It'll be about six hours before my prints come off and they're not painted. They're not anything. They're just a clear, in my case, but, or a coloured figure. There's nothing magical about them. You can go and buy figures from a shop. It's not print and place. You do have to do some extra work. And that leads me on to point two. Actually, this is still an emerging technology. Every single time they bring out a new printer, which is like every few months, it seems, there's something better. There's an extra digit on the number of K's on the screen. It's slightly bigger. It can print this, it can print that, but they still don't have constant heating, humidity control, set resins that will produce set results. It's also not necessarily supported properly. There's still an emerging marketplace for creators. Some of them do su supports. You may have to learn to do supports yourself. Some that come with supports don't always print that well. Maybe it's your resin, maybe it's the support. You can work on your resin, you can change the support, but it's still not locked down. This is not like a printer in my other room where I walk in, press play, and out pops a bit of paper with a coloured picture on it. This is still emerging and every year it gets better. There's more quality of life improvements. Three, have you ever bought a kit? Newsflash, you're cheating. You just bought something off a shelf that someone else had designed and it came in a box and you took it out and you worked on it. Well, that's what 3D printing is. If you break someone else's design, it's no different to buying it as a kit. You still have to put it together quite often. It's modular. You still have to clip it and clean it up like you would if you took plastic kits off a sprue. You still have to paint it and weather it just like a plastic kit. So 3D printing at worst, is no worse than going and buying a kit. Now I know there's a snobbery in some parts of modeling about using kits. Oh, this is completely scratch built from original wood. Well, you didn't grow the tree, did you? It just bemuses me that people think that 3D printing is cheating because someone got a design off the internet and then they'll toddle down and buy a tank kit or a model starship or whatever it is. And that's not cheating. Mate, if you've bought a kit, you've cheated in your own definition. Not by mine, my definition. Modeling is enjoying it off. It's a hobby. If you want to buy a kit, perfect. I do it all the time. It saves time. And at the end of the day, I only have so much time to invest in modeling. I have to choose wisely. And that brings me on to my fourth point and this little illustration. This is an Ahsoka. I designed her from scratch. Well, actually I got a human body. I rigged it so I could bend her fingers and move her arms and legs into the right pose. I found an Ahsoka face on the internet because I'm not really good at sculpting faces. And I sculpted everything else. I literally did everything else. The clothes, yeah, it was tough. This wasn't easy. Recently, I took part in the original Mecha contest video to come and I built a griffin and I ran up against a wall of my scratch building skills not being suitable for the vision that I had because scratch building really highly technical mech parts is actually quite hard to get the tolerances that you want so that they move and work. And it got me thinking about how I don't have the skills for scratch building. And then I look back over my modeling years and I thought I've scratch built loads of stuff. I've scratch built buildings. I've scratch built all this scenery. I've scratch built a soaker. I just used a 3D printer. I've done so much scratch building. But recently I've invested my learning time in techniques into 3D printing. 
And if you want to design your own stuff, it is hard. It is hours. It is prints of prototypes that fail. It's prints of something else to discover it was too thin. It's prints, it's hours, days trying to work out how to do something the first time you do it. It's no different to your modeling journey when you pick up a lump of epoxy clay or, you know, whatever it is, Daz clay, and say, I'm going to make something with this. Creating your own model, even if you use building blocks like I started with a figure and changed it, is hard. Scratch building is hard until they're not. And 3D printing is just another tool. If you pick up a craft knife, you don't think you're cheating. You think it's a tool. If you pick up a kit at the model shop, you don't think that's cheating. You think that's your hobby. It is. It's building plastic kits sometimes. If you use a 3D printer, you don't think it's cheating. You know it's another tool to help you progress your hobby. But if you want to be top notch at it, it will take as much time as any other type of modeling. So is 3D printing cheating? No, it isn't. It's hard work. It's not easy. Learning to design is years of practice. But at the end of the day, I can do stuff I couldn't do any other way. I couldn't get this Ahsoka figure in this size, in this outfit, with this kind of level of detail. I couldn't get it quickly enough, or I just couldn't get it, for what I wanted on a diorama, at the size I wanted. But I can 3D print it, and it's opened up a world of modeling to me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave comments down below. Some of you will disagree. You'll still think 3D printing is cheating. Some of you watch this because you wanted me to tell you that you were right and 3D printing isn't cheating. Whatever you think, thankfully, this is an amazing hobby and it is broad. It can accommodate all types, whether it's somebody who wants to grow their own tree, 50 years later, cut it down and make their own wood, all the way through to the people who want to press a button, someone else has designed it and out pops a figure they can just paint after they've removed it, cleaned it, you know, done all the stuff you have to do with 3D prints. So whatever your thoughts, pop me a comment, subscribe, like, hit the bell button so you get notified for the next video. See you next time.